Good morning. Welcome to Reset Your Life Today. I invite you to join me for a mini reset retreat to find out if you're living you at your utmost. My name is Mark Lopez. Our reset question for this weekend is this. Is there an area in your life right now that you need to bring out into the light? I invite you to find a quiet spot where you can be undisturbed for the next 5 to 15 minutes to enjoy a time with the Lord and to hit reset. When you found the place, just come back to the video. Are you ready to hit reset? All right, let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember who you are. I am God's beloved, complete in Jesus Christ. Now slow down. Set everything aside. Silence your heart. Silence your mind. And then enter now. Let's begin with letter N. For the next 5 to 15 minutes, just notice your breathing. This will help you to become more mindful of God's presence. Letter O. Open the door to the present moment. Be here. Close the door to yesterday. Close the door to tomorrow. And then W. Welcome God's presence. Because He is truly here. It's no time to listen to insights. Just enjoy His presence. Enjoy your time with the Lord. Now it's time to talk to God. You might like to discuss this essay with Him as we reflect also on His Word. The title of the essay is Try Truth. Are you in a challenging situation right now? Relationally, financially, or physically? Do you want to get out of it? Try Truth. In 2007, the Associated Press featured a story a police, police chief was fined $235 for traffic violation. His name, Richard Nobel of Kewaskum, Wisconsin. His violation, driving past a parked school bus with its light flashing. His reason, while on patrol, he was distracted by a stopped dump truck on the other side of the road. He was concerned that vehicles might collide into it and so he didn't see the flashing light of the parked school bus. No one was hurt. The interesting part of the story is this. No one saw Chief Noble's violation. He gave the traffic ticket to himself. That's honesty. That's integrity. That's what it means to be truthful, especially when no one is watching. In Sunday's Gospel, Jesus tells Pilate in John 18 verse 37, You say, I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Friend, is Jesus your king? If he is, then you should be truthful, as he is the king of truth and truth himself. Many of the troubling situations we get into has to do with the absence of truth. We say one thing, but we do another. We pretend we can afford, but we actually cannot. We tell people we are okay, but in fact, we're not. We say we don't need help when we actually need help. If sickness, in whatever form, begins with a small lie, in whatever area, healing 
begins with truth. Try truth. First with yourself, then with the king of truth, and then with others. Reflection question. Is there any area of your life you need to truthfully bring out into the light? Anything that you need to spread out before truth himself, the king of truth, Jesus Christ. Enjoy your time with the Lord. Now it's time to pray. Let's continue to remember that we are in God's holy presence. Jesus, you are truth, and I come to you right here, right now. I pray for the Holy Spirit to convict me of any area that I have not completely surrendered into your light, or any area that I've tried to hide from you. I present all that I am, all that I have to you, and particularly that area that I've been keeping away from you. I present it to you right here, right now, Lord God. I pray for the grace of your Holy Spirit to bring your light into every area of my life that I will always speak the truth, think the truth, live the truth with your love through the power of your Holy Spirit. In your name, Jesus, I pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friend, thank you for joining me for this mini reset retreat. If it has blessed you, please share it with others. And incidentally, if you're in Manila, please join us for Kerygma Conference, Limitless. Find us at the Mall of Asia. Experience the limitless love of God for you. Enjoy Him today. God bless you.